Okay, we got to do. Express that in. Um, what are you doing? But you were just slightly off, like camera. I was slightly off. You know, star of the show needs to be in camera, so. Thanks, John. Right. Okay, express that in the form. Uh, they even give you the form to write it in. That's a bit cheeky, mm. isn't it? Because you know you should know these ones. Remember, if you've got a repeated route, you need to do the, the power one and the power two. So uh, we'll do our standard next step, which is to multiply by the denominator, which would give us a times x minus two plus b. If we multiply by x minus two r squared. Now we're going to sub in some values that will work for us. So let's try subbing in x equals 2. So that's the obvious one to go with to start with. Um, and that gives us 7 minus 4, which is 3, is a times 0 plus b. So b is 3. Did we get b is 3? And let's choose another value. Why not choose x equals 0? Because that's easy to work with. 7 is minus 2a plus b. But we've already established that b is 3, so that means 7 take away b, so that is 4, is minus 2a. So a is also minus 2. Happy? And so we get that our form should have been 7 minus 2x over x minus 2 squared is minus 2 over x minus 2 plus 3 over x minus 2 squared. Do we, do we agree with that? I think a few people made a mistake with that, didn't they? Was it, was it in getting from there to there that it went wrong? Okay, so be really careful when you're multiplying through about how things cancel out. You had extra x minus 2 brackets hanging around, didn't you? Okay. Uh, right, hence, find the exact value of this. So they, they've flagged it up as a partial fractions in question. So it's between 4 and 5 that we're doing it. So for part 2, the integral we're supposed to be solving is the integral from 4 to 5 of this. Minus 2 over x minus 2 plus 3. And I am going to write this like that. Just because that will remind me not to get drawn into that whole natural logarithm thing that sometimes get wrong. So this is minus 2 lots of the natural log of x minus 2 because it's just minus 2 times 1 over x minus 2 so it's minus 2 times that and this would be add 1 to the power and divide by the new power so that gives us a minus 3 x minus 2 to the minus 1 between 4 and 5 so now we're ready to put the limits into this and see what it gives us, we've got minus 2 ln, well what is this, 5 taken 2 is 3, minus 3 over 5 take away 2 which is 3, and we're taking away minus 2 ln 2, minus 3 over 2. And there it one is, the question said find the exact value it looks to me like we've got minus 1, minus minus 3 over 2. It's minus 1 plus 1 and a half. So that's a half. And what we've got then? Minus 2 ln 3 plus 2 ln 2. I, I think we could accept it like that. Or, I mean that's it, you'd, you'd get it for that. Or we might want to write this as a half plus 2 ln Two thirds, because it's two and two take away two and three. So it's, it would be that nice one. Um, but it would be a plus, wouldn't it? Yes. Okay. Are we all happy? Did we get something close to that? <coughs> of course. It, if you'd got partial fractions wrong, then you would get the full marks if you did everything correct through there. Okay. As long as you were doing it with an expression that, that integrated in the same kind of way. Great. And that's maths. <laughs>